Hello and welcome to another video. You may remember um, a few weeks ago I used alcohol inks on the jelly plate to make these. There is a video, I'll put that at the end actually. So what I thought I would do is I want to make some books for Amazon KDP because I self-publish on there and I've got a few ideas that I just need some nice bright covers for. So alcohol inks give really vivid bright colours when you use it on UPO paper and I think last time when I used it for these I think it, it worked pretty well. Um, I'm just thinking maybe I could do some brighter larger pieces and just see what we come up with. So I've just got I've gone through my stencil collection and just picked out the stencils that are quite abstract. I've got some that are more of a picture. I suppose this one is more of a, a scene, but generally these are quite abstract ones. Oh, I didn't realise how many I had actually. Quite a few here. But I'm going to use these and I've got a lot of alcohol inks so lots of bright colours um, I've just picked out the brightest ones that I've got I've got them all lined up here but you can't really see them so we're just gonna have a go and see what happens
have a video of this last bit. I think I pressed the photo button instead of record, but never mind. This is the last print that I did. I think it works better using one stencil all over rather than a bit of one stencil in one place and then another one elsewhere. I guess it gives it more of a cohesive look. And these are the three prints that I made. And so, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with them. They're nice and bright, a bit different to the usual jelly prints that I do. And I, I don't know whether I'll use them as book covers. I might do. Um, we'll see. But, yeah, I'm pleased with the effect. I wasn't sure at first when the ink runs under the stencil. But, do you know, I think if it didn't, I think there'd be quite, there'd be a lot of white space, wouldn't there? So I think that's worked okay in some cases. It, I think it, a lot of this really depends on the type of stencil that you use. Some well, work better than others, um, but yeah, it's just experimenting, isn't it? That's what it's all about. I did actually try a print using a dark acrylic paint instead of white, but it completely didn't work. Um, the alcohol ink just disappeared. But I should have actually tried a lighter one, maybe pink, a light pink or light blue, just something instead of white to fill up those spaces a little bit. Although, I mean, nothing wrong with having white space. It's very effective sometimes. But I think if I did it again, I would yeah, just try pulling the prints with a slightly um, a different colour other than white. But it was good fun. I enjoyed experimenting and I shall see you again soon.